Hi everybody, we are going to start week number 10 of 52 weeks of Christmas. This week we're going to be working on a paper stocking to hang up. Um, it is going to be, it's about 11 and a quarter inches. So you can make yours a little shorter if you want. Um, this is just what I ended up with. And I ended up drawing my own stencil. So what I did, this is my first try. So I took, I just had a roll of, partial roll of tape here. So I, I first started out with bigger circles and didn't like it. It was too big. So I then did smaller circles, one for the toe and one for the heel. And you can see this is shorter. So when I cut this out, I didn't like the way this looked. This wasn't angling right, it wasn't tall enough. So this was kind of, it's like, all right, try two. So I took this and I drew a circle here and then I drew a circle here. I'll show you on a piece of paper. Just uh, show you exactly how I did it. So. I just took this and I drew a circle and this is just going to be your template so it doesn't really matter. I came over and it looks like I did hmm, just a little further down and a little far apart and then I drew another circle. So that's my circle and then I arched this in the center here because our feet arch a little bit. And then I brought the heel in some, and then I kind of angled back out. And this is my toe. So I brought my toe up, and then is that coming up? It's not coming up very good, is it? Well, I'm pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. And then this was out. This is actually goes out further. This is not as far in. So that's basically what I ended up doing. This might be higher. Let me see on my regular one. But I just kept playing with it until it looked right to me. So I've got pretty much that pretty close together. So my actual arch ended up being like that. And this heel is actually up higher. So this was down like that. And my circle would have been up higher here. So, so just keep playing with it until it looks right to you. And then I just cut it out with my scissors. And then for, so that was my stocking pattern. Okay, so I cut that out, <clears throat> made that. And then I thought, well, I need a cuff. I want a cuff on my thing. So I took this same part here and I laid it on a piece of paper. And I thought, well, I want my cuff about that long. So what I did was I just drew along this. And I came down, I believe it's an inch and a half. Let me double check it. Oh, this one is two and an eighth inches. So I came down about two and an eighth inch. And then I cut this out. Then I made this one short. So this would actually be longer. So this two and an eighth inches. So let me go all the way down. So like, boop, like that. Okay. And then this one was shorter. So I cut, I cut two of these. So I cut two at two and an eighth. And then I cut the one of them down to an inch and a half. And the other one I used my, where is it? It's a Martha Stewart. Where are you? You wouldn't believe how much stuff I have on my table right now. <laughs> Just for this project. So this is a Martha Stewart. And it's the little tiny snowflake one and it, there's no they don't name them they don't have a item number on them it's just the tiny snowflake one and it creates that little pattern right there so that is going to be our cuff and the top part of our cuff and our stocking so all right and i tried doing one on my cricket and I didn't like the shape of it. This is my first try. It was tiny. And then I thought, well, I'll make it bigger. And this was eight inches. And I thought, no, that's still not big enough. And I just didn't like the way it angled. I wanted more of a, like a stocking stocking. So that's why I ended up drawing my own. So even though I have a Cricut machine, I still wasn't happy with the results I was getting. 
So I'm, I'm not afraid to make my own patterns when it comes to something like that. I just keep playing with it until it's something that I like the looks of. So on the back of these, I've already traced my patterns. And I traced this in reverse on the back side there. So let's go ahead and cut that out. And I pre-traced um, all my things here just so we have a, a start at it. Now I also need another one of these for the back. And I've already traced that and that's going to be that really light blue color underneath. Um, and I'll tell you what the papers are. These are older papers. I have um, a bunch of single sheets of paper. Some I have like more of one of the same pattern. Some I have more of one in the same maybe series that they had. So I always end up, if I like it, like I just like that piece of paper. So I bought it. And, but I only had one of them. So, and this one is Jack Frost and it's Blitzen collection. So it's a basic gray and it's an older one. And there's no, I'm not seeing a year, but it's an older one. So, but that's from basic gray, um, Jack Frost, the Blitzen collection. All right. So that's our top part. This is our next part, and I know this is American Craft card stock, and I will have to see if I can remember the color. I did look to see what the color was. And I'm going to cut these out by hand, but then when I put them together, if one's hanging out a little further than the other, I'm just going to trim that off to correct it, because hand cutting, I mean, sometimes you'll be closer to the line or further away from the line than other times, so that's how I handle that. Is if I if it doesn't match up perfect when I glue them together, then I will. And I haven't made this yet. We're doing it together. I just seen a small stocking on that old dang old Pinterest, you know. <laughs> It'll get you. It cracks me up because I'll be I'll go in there to look at something, and then like two hours later, it's like, oh my gosh, girl, you just ruined, missed half of your day. So, these will go together, and I didn't care about the back, what color it was, so I didn't see no sense of using um, colored cardstock, I mean, decorative cardstock for that, because it's going to be the back, but I did kind of want it to color coordinate. So, that's my two boots. Now on the back of this, this is Die Cuts with a View. It's their Holiday Glitz Collection. They do have other ones, but it's that real flexible glitter paper. And it's my favorite glitter paper. I don't get glitter all over everything. It's, it's sturdy enough, but it's flexible. And it's, uh, this, like I said, is the Holiday Collection, but you can get it with just the silver gold and the blues and stuff. But that's what I use for my silver sheet. And that is actually going to be our base of our cuff. So I'm just going to get that cut out of there. And again, I trace it on the back. I don't, I don't have to worry about any of my pencil lines showing. Or anything like that. Set that out of the way. So that's the top part of my cuff. And then this one is the one I, I love this paper. And it was the one I tried to use for the stocking that I cut out here. Because I wanted this on the bottom of my stocking. But by the time I was done doing all my tryouts, I didn't have any left. And I only have one sheet of this paper also. This was... Uh, la, 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 la. This one was Studio Light Winter Memories. So, but like I said, I'll see a piece of paper like this and I like it. So then I just buy it. But I might only have one sheet or two sheets. 
All right, so we're going to cut out our second cuff out of this. So this one is already cut down to size, so it should be smaller already. I didn't draw the whole thing. All right, my pattern was already cut down. So, and I don't know if I want that blue on there or the brown. I like that. I think I'm going to go with that blue. So this will actually go on here. Our blue will go on top like that. But first we're going to punch our silver out with our Martha Stewart punch. I'm going to tip it upside down so I can see where I'm lining up to start with. I want that to start right on that edge there. There we go. Also. Okay. Hopefully it'll come out just right. have a little bit more. There we go. Pretty close. Pretty good. I'm just going to cut this little edge off there. Look at all those cute little stars. All right. And I'm setting stuff out of my way as we go along because I really do have a full, full thing going on here. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue this together with hot glue, I think. You know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll glue it together with my art glitter glue here. Less messy, and it should hold it pretty good. If for some reason it doesn't, then I'll go back in and... I'm going to pull up my sleeves here. I'll go back in and um, redo it. I'm just going to do a nice bead of glue. And I'm not going to put a lot of stuff in here, but I do have some stuff picked out to put sticking out of the top here a little bit. I'm staying about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. Just so when it squeezes out a little bit, maybe it'll won't get all over the place. There we go. There we go. Now I have two options for my hanger. Because I thought I liked one and then I seen something else I thought oh I like that idea too so that is so how my table gets full because I keep seeing things that oh that might look cute oh that's cute so we might use some of them all of them I'm not sure I doubt if we'll use all of them because I have a lot of stuff here all right we're gonna let that set up here now I have this I thought would make a cute hanger and this is just uh, like that boa stuff from Hobby Lobby. It's just the smaller one. thought that might be cute. Or this tinsel. This tinsel, I believe, I want to say from, it says holiday time. I think it's from Walmart. But I thought that would be cute too. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And make that. I think that'll be easier to get in there. So let me cut off a piece of that. And it won't have feathers floating all over either. All right. Set that aside. So I'm going to glue that right on the inside there. And then, oh, cut plenty. Got it plenty long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the looks of that. I think that's cute. Yeah, I think that's cute. I think it's twisted. All right, so let me get my hot glue gun. We'll get that tacked inside of there. I'm gonna do a little bit on the top here. Push that. Let's see, I want that actually off to the side there. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. there. Get a little bit on the back. Oh, it looks like some of the back. Okay. There we go. 
go. I'm just going to kind of pinch those together. Okay. Ooh, that's warm. <laughs> Little, ooh, that was hot. We got her. All right. My scissors probably aren't going to be too happy with me, are they? All right. So there. Oh, I like that. That'll be cute. Now, I'm got, I've got all these things to stick inside, but I'm going to wait to do that till last if we get this decorated. So let's go ahead and attach our... And you can see on this how the how this sticks out a little bit. Just a little bit, just like a cuff would on your other stuff. Boy, that looks crooked to me. Why does that look crooked? Did I cut that out crooked? Let's see. Might have to redo this. That's two inches. Nope, it's two inches. That looks so weird. Hmm. That does not look right to me still. All right, it's just a little over two and two inches. So I'm going to trim this upper part here off just a little bit. Try to make that look more even. Wasn't off by much, but I'll tell you, my, that's how my eye works. It just does not, doesn't like anything crooked. So we're going to glue this down. Maybe we won't even need that top part. Maybe we'll just go with the silver on the cuffs because it's so pretty. And if I put that top part on, then it's going to cover most of that silver up. So let's see what we think here. All right, we got that like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's with just the silver. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty bright in my room today. I have two big windows in my craft room. So when the sun is shining, it's going to be interesting this summer to see how it works. All right, so I think... I think I'm going to leave it. I don't think I'm going to add it because then I lose all that silver. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And next time maybe we'll do this. So now the next thing I did was some of these rosettes. I created a couple small ones. And these are browns. And these are just reversed. Okay. Uh, these are just circles I had punched out from something else. So I'm not sure if I like the smaller one or the bigger one. I took a piece of lace. And this lace is like a Christmas lace. It has pine trees on it, or the Christmas trees on it. And it is, how wide is that? That is about three inches. So it's a pretty, and that's from here to this curved part here. I took 18 inches of it. And I gathered it with my needle and made a circle. But you could also take um, a circle punch, punch from your circle like this, and lay glue in there and bring the, bring the lace around that way. Like you'd lay a bead of glue, cut your 18 inches, and then you'd lay your glue and you'd gather that as you went along. Okay? Right at the center there, you just gather, 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 gather. And you gotta use a smaller circle, of course. But you do that or run your running stitch through the lace and then pull it to draw it tight um, to make the circle. So I did that and I thought that would be pretty right under there. And I like that. And I think it's too big for that, but that might not look so bad either. I like bringing in that brown. I really do. So there's my dilemma. But let's go ahead and I'll quick show you um, what size these rosettes are and how I made those. I took a full 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And I laid it in my, this is only part of it because I've already cut some off. 
and then I scored every half inch okay every half inch all the way down to 11 and a half inches I then took them and I cut them in two and a half inch uh, widths or heights and you could make them smaller these ones here they were uh, looks like one in about one and a half inches long but then it ends up being three and a half inches across so this one these were two and a half inches and it is almost five and a half inches across so whatever length you have these at basically double it and add a little bit is how wide your whole rows that's going to be okay so I trimmed these down I ran it through my I scored it and then when I score I do it the same every time because you want these always the same so I start at the one end and I fold down then I fold in towards myself down in towards myself down in down in down in until you get all done okay and then they're all the same and I already pre-glued these together so I had a little head start so what you're going to do then is you're going to take and flip it over so that you have the V facing you add a little bit of glue in there and then for those of you who know this how to do this um, I get that but there are people out there that don't and they don't want to go looking around the internet for another video to have it explained so that's why I'm trying to quickly explain it for them so they don't have to go searching for how to make a rosette it's right included in here so please be patient all right so once you get that done then you're going to join these together so you're going to do the same thing you're going to take your V you're going to put your glue in it and then I did three of these so actually to start you would need two four six seven seven and a half inches of paper we're going to take it and we're going to join those together into a circle and I just line up my ends there and then press it okay so that ends up all right inside of there a good squeeze make sure it's glued down good I don't want any glue seeping through underneath okay and then just redo your thing okay so you end up with a circle like that now what you're going to do is I took my punch and I just punched out a scrap piece of paper actually I used blue I don't know see where my blue one is but I used blue over oh, right here so I punched out this circle out of this punch this is a two and an eighth punch if you've got a Cricut machine you can cut it on your Cricut you can just hand cut a circle it does not have to be a perfect circle in order for this to work you can hand cut a circle if you don't have any punches or cutters so you're going to take your circle set that aside a second and you're going to need hot glue for this because you want this to set fairly quick so you're going to take this and you're going to push it in you're going to push it down just like that so it's laying on your table and it's going to want to pop back up and you're going to kind of gather it with your fingers to close in that center circle okay see how that center circle is like all closed in okay I'm just going to kind of hold that with my hand all right I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to put a puddle of glue right in the center of that circle now the trick is to get this glue underneath there without this springing all apart here we go all right and it's going to want to spring apart here. come on it's not an easy task but it is doable so don't freak out if it doesn't work the very first time you try so i'm just going to kind of squeeze that over there i see my puddle i'm going to drop it in and i'm going to hold that okay and it takes a few seconds it doesn't happen instantly and well it's kind of dry and kind of spread your little rosettes out like I said this was three of those sections to make this rosette now you can use you don't have to use 12 inch paper but keep in mind if you use shorter length paper you might need more sections 
to create a whole circle. And you'll know if you don't have enough for a whole circle because it won't stretch around. So I did some smaller ones or cut some out on the Cricut thinking that would save me time, but it did not. I ended up scrapping those because they were so small. It was going to take 10 of those sections to do one rosette. So I said, forget it. I'll just cut them out by hand like I normally do. And it was one that had like a snowflake edge on it, but it took like 10 minutes to cut out. It was crazy amount of time to cut out. I'm just still holding that. All right, I'm going to set this aside somewhere to finish drying. I'm going to put a weight on it to hold it down because I've already got one pre-made. So I'm just going to weight that down and let that dry and we'll use it on a different pro project at another time. All right, let's bring this back in. So, we have this and our other rosette. There it is. Now, it's already glued together. That's the earlier one. I kind of like that because then that lace just barely peeks out. I like the colors. I'm just wondering if I should take a little of my... Uh, I don't want blue. Oh, excuse me, please. Now, this is walnut stain on here. Maybe just a little bit. Of the walnut stain that's left down here from my last project just to bring in some of those brown tones I kind of like that there we go yeah that looks nice you can see that very good just a little hint of brown right along the top there all right I think we're gonna go with this one it's a little big but I like it so let's go ahead and glue this down I'm gonna use hot glue for this just going to get a puddle in here and this is going to be covered up so I'm not worried about that showing. We're going to lay that right in the center there. Try not to burn our fingers because it's lace so it will. And it's a shame that we won't be able to see those trees. <laughs> but I just liked it because of the size of the lace that I knew I needed a pretty big size lace for that. All right. we go my poor scissors good thing they're just my paper scissors and i'm going to put a puddle of glue here and then center that on my lace there we go pull that lace out of there a little bit there we go all right i have some chipboards and these are Teresa Collins Candy Cane Lane and it's chipboard elements there's 33 chipboard elements against Teresa Collins Candy Cane Lane and this I've had for a while too the item number is CCL 122 I don't know if that'll help you but this is what you got you got the numbers and you got these cute items here. I also got this I found in my stash. I know this was from Walmart um, at the end of Christmas, a couple Christmases ago. They had a great big cart of all things. They were like a nickel a piece or something. So I just grabbed these. So I might use that. I've got some put painted wood mittens. I've got a deer from... Hobby Lobby's My Little Christmas things. I picked the silver one out. And I have a Noel I found in my stash. It's just got one little pearl on the bottom. And I have this Noel. Now I figured this one I'm going to put on here. So I've punched out a silver out of my same silver um, paper. Punched out this little circle for the top of this. And I'm going to put that Noel right on that circle. I thought that was really pretty. So let's go ahead and glue that down. And I'm going to use hot glue because it, I want that to drip down and to hold on to there pretty good. So we'll do that like that. Okay. Make sure it's centered. It looks pretty good. All right. And this is going to go right on there. And I'm not going to paint this. I like the look of the natural color on that. 
So I'm going to leave that that. And I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Should hold this. Let's give it a try and see if it does. But it should. Yeah, I think I want that on a little angle. This way, I think. There we go. And if the art glitter glue for some reason doesn't hold that, we can uh, find something else to put. Let me see my doodle now. Now, I like this deer here. I thought it was cute. And it feels like it's sticky. Is that adhesive? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know if I want to take that adhesive off, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to stick that right up in there, just like that. Oh, I like that. Okay, now they had, oops, boy, you are not sticking on there, are you? Might be because of the glitter. All right, let me, let me put some hot glue on there and see if that will help. Just real thin bead on a couple of the wider parts here. And now I gotta cover up that other lettering. And that should dry pretty clear there. Alright. Okay. Hopefully that'll stick now. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and let's use here. <laughs> let's get what did I else do I have on there? Do I want the snow? It's kind of pretty, isn't it? And it's dimensional. I mean that's like a big foam. So far we got this. Yeah, maybe. It's a nice color. I think we'll take this 25. And I for sure won't use all of these stickers. I do know that. Let me poke out the that part. Get those out of there. Go. All right. So let's kind of we'll put that there. It's already sticky, so. I don't know if I want the, uh, I like this deer here. I like that deer. That is pretty. I like this kind of brownish, grayish color. Let's put a tree on here. Got a tree. Maybe down at the bottom we'll put a tree. throwing me off maybe because it's too big not sure nope not that
Mm -hmm. All right. So, and then I have this that I punched out with this Fisker's punch, and it just says snow, but I did it in silver. Is it just 25 is throwing me off? Uh, I don't think I can get that back up. Nope, it's down now. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll put this down in here like that. All right. And then let's, cut, let's take the snow. I just put it inside of this sleeve. So it wouldn't get caught on anything after I made it. we'll go with all right let's go with that angle okay we're gonna cut this off right here right here like that and we'll put this there like that and we will cover that with something there okay so let's go ahead and give this some glue this. I see my pen now too. All right. It's nice and shiny. Pin was stuck to my lace. There it goes. Now I did have uh, this. Let me see. I'll put that right in the center of that. It's a glitter. It's one from the glitter thing. Whoopsie. Get on there. That lines up there perfectly. There we go. And then we have some other ones here too. More glitter ones. Let's put a little one right there. These make nice add-ins. I mean, if you're just going to sweep them off your desk and throw them away anyway, might as well use them up, right? So, let's see here. And because they're punched out, they have a nice curve on them. That one's got, that one's missing a piece. That's just white. There we go. And we'll add one right there. We'll just put them here and there. Do one on the top of the Christmas tree. This is one of my favorite punches, and you've, seen me use it in some of my other um, Christmas crafts so and I'll probably use it a few more times in some of my other crafts so I just like the the winter part the snowflakes are pretty that's just plain white Okay, looks like those are all plain white. All right. Oops, there's a silver one way over here. Let's see where I can put you. Hmm. All right, maybe right down here. Whoopsie. There we go. All right, for right now. Okay. So I'm going to say no to this. This is just too big, too thick. I do have some of my favorite. I got some of these. I thought these would look pretty on there. And these are just from Hobby Lobby from the bridal section. It's just the, the flower stamens that they have in their bridal section. You can give 50% off, but I thought they might look cute. Just... um folded and sticking out of somewhere, you know. And you don't have to use that many. You can use like two or four. That one's got, oh, that one's three. There we go. Let's 
Got two strings on one. So just kind of pinch, pinch them in half. Twist that. I just thought they'd be kind of cute sticking out of somewhere. Just add different texture. I'm going to go ahead and put a little hot glue on there. Right on there. And we'll slide that up underneath there. Just like that. That's cute. And then I want something small for there. What do we got? I like that love. Oh, here's a little snowflake here. How about that? That's the right color combination there. All right. Okay, and then that will cover that up. And I don't care if it sticks off the boot here a little bit. So we're getting there. We've got some shiny silver and Okay, let's get our deer on there, I think. Like him. This, I'm going to try my art glitter glue. I do not know if it will hold this. It has worked holding metal for me before. But we'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we're just going to put that just like that. We're going to let that sit, and hopefully that will grab right a hold. All right. Now, I think, what do we got here? What else do we got? Let's grab a couple more of these here. Not there. there. I should have stuck these on there before, huh? If I can pull that up enough to get those underneath there. Let me see. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I'm just going to put a dab of glue there and see if I can pull that up enough. Slide them underneath there. go. There's another silver. Another silver. I think this one we can drop right in that hole that's supposed to be for the deer's hanger there. There we go. Okay. So now we're down to let me get, um, let's see, those are cut off. i got to get my snippers here a second. All right, here we go. I'm just going to, i got these ends on here I want to cut off because there's, when I cut my uh, picks apart, I sometimes leave an edge there that I don't necessarily want. So well, this is kind of drying up a little bit. Let's get some of these things inside of here. So I have this cute little pick here, and you can see, let's see if my deer will stick. So we've got a nice little pocket there that we'll be able to use, all right? So we've got some longer things. I thought these were pretty. Let me just stick those down in there. And then this is white. Stick that in there. So we've got kind of like that so far. Mm -hmm. Then I have three of these. I had three. There we go. And some of these are shorter, some are longer. Let me get the white out of there for right now. So we have three of these, which I kind of like. I might have to draw this on there. Okay. I got that. Okay. So let's glue this one in first because it's the biggest. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some 
glue right along this whole thing here and before it can I'm gonna hold it up and down so it starts running down I'm gonna open this pocket at the center and I'm gonna slide it in to about right there so it's just peeking out now I don't want to close in my pocket I just want it on the one half okay so I'm gonna try to press that up against that one half my pocket closed yet because I've got to get other things in there. All right. We got this one. Okay. Then I have these cute ones too, but we might be able to use those. Whoopsie. Oh, my deer's falling off too. Okay. Come on, dry wants to shift around there. Hang on, let's see if I can. It's tacking up. It's it's drying, but it's still really warm. So me by me moving this around, I'm okay. All right. I just don't want it adhering itself to the other side. We have to add some hot glue to this deer here. It doesn't want to. Uh, some cornstarch too where my cornstarch is all right okay. okay that's pretty dry now all right so let's take this one whoops lace get out of the way <laughs> lace sticks to everything so let's get, this is a long one too, so let's get this one and I'm going to hold it right down in on that left hand side here. Go on in. Alright, just like that. So it's sticking out there a bit, just like that. And when it hangs, it's going to be fine because it's going to be tall enough. All right. Now I do like these silver ones. I have some other white ones too. Here we go. These are from Joann's uh, this past Christmas season. So I'm just going to pull on that and it should release itself off of the wire together. These are pearly white. They're pretty. To bring in some white in there. Oh, I like that. Isn't that nice? Okay. Let's go ahead and get some glue on this here. We're going to stick it right in with this one we just stuck in there, along on that silver side, just like that, kind of right in the middle. Right. Now this Noel was in a wood, it was a bunch of Christmas wood stains, and I just took some silver, this is wired ribbon that I had in just a piece that I had left in my stash and I just run it through there and for that hanger part there. All right, let's do now this stuff here. I'll be good putting glue here, but if I get glue on this, it's gonna shrivel right up. It does not like hot glue at all. So let's see what we can do with this here. And I'm gonna shove it in on this side here, right there, I think. Just like that. Right. I should still be able to get stuff slid down in there. All right, so we're just going to start sliding these in different places here. Let's slide this one right down in here. Just like that. It doesn't take a ton of glue. I'm going to grab this other side here. I try to keep them facing down so the glue starts dripping down and it doesn't want to um, drip on me. Right, let's 
lay that down so that can start dripping down there. Just start adhering to the paper there. We need some more whites in there. Right over the side here, whites. There we go. And then once it's dry, I mean, I can move these apart a little bit if I want to. We got these bigger silver bells there. If we want some bigger ones. And also slide those right up in there. Oh, let's do that. Let's slide some of these right up in there. I'm going to put my bead of glue on there. I'm going to slide it right up inside that rosette there. Just like that. Oh, I probably should put it. There we go. Right up inside up there. I'm going to tip this kind of this way so that glue drips down in that rosette. We'll do some more here. Slide that right up inside that little set. There we go. I had a third one here. Didn't see it. All right. So then I have some pine cones. Love these little pine cones. And I'm going to bring in some of this. Uh, put a little dab of glue right down here so I can get that held in over here. Okay? Out of the way there. There we go. Come on. Dry up. All right. In my other hand, I'm going to see if I can get some pine cones out of here. I don't think I want them too big. I got some medium sized ones here, I think. Some tiny ones, some medium ones. I got some bigger ones here. Other ones are coming there. Okay. Well, that's a nice one. Let's um. To kind of be careful with them when they start drying out quite a bit because they they want to just break. This one here. Yeah. I took it right there. There we go. There we go. And then we've got uh, some little tiny ones. Some of these are tiny, so I gotta kinda watch my fingers there. Let's get some at the top here. Bring some brown into here. There we go. Uh, 
I get another one about that size there. There we go. And I think maybe some over on this side. We can bring them up inside of that thing too, I think. Well, maybe we just get a bigger one here. Let's do this one and we'll get it actually in this stuff here. Sticking out of here maybe, huh? Oh, hmm. Not very visible, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it's not very visible in there. It looks like my uh, glue worked for there. Be careful, I've got my bent my in there. All right, let's see here. That's a tiny, tiny one. Kind of hard to see the whole thing. Let me back up here a little bit. See if I can get a better view of it. Move some of this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so that's going to hang up by this here. My hanger. Something here. I'm not sure if I just like that thing in your face looking. Ooh. Where's my other one? Here it is. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Let's take this snowflake off of here. And we're going to bring this in here. So it'll cover that up. Okay. And we'll glue that snowflake on top of there. That's what we're going to do. Let me cover that up. So hot glue on the pad here, and we're going to have this off to the side here, just like that. I'm moving it in. I don't want that other spot where I just ripped that snowflake off to show. And we got the tree there. Okay, I think that'll work. Now let's take our snowflake, add some glue to the bottom of that. I think that's going to be better. Oh, yeah, I like that much better. I like that much better. I just did not like that whole band of where it just said snow, 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 snow. I like just a little bit. That's much better. I'm happier with that. Whoopsie. All right. So that's our project for today. And total height, let me see here if I can give you a guesstimate on total height. This is 18 inches, so looks like about 19 inches tall to the very tip of these um, silver strips here. All right, so that is week 10 of 52 Weeks of Christmas, and I hope you enjoy, enjoyed the video. And if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I would appreciate it. If you do decide to subscribe, please hit that bell so you can be notified every time I put up a new video. I do other videos other than the 52 Weeks of Christmas. I do mini albums, and I do crafts, and I do shadow boxes. So I try to put up about three videos a week. So I try to keep them rolling with different interests. So if you have an idea that you'd like to see me make, just put a comment and see I can see what I can do. Um, and until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.